Hi, I'm Marissa Haig. I'm a veterinarian and the owner of Black Label Farms with my husband, Travis. With our herd, we usually start our breeding season around the end of June or early July. Before that, we want to make sure our heifers and cows are ready for breeding. This in involves assessing body condition, making sure that they're on a good mineral program, and pre-breeding vaccinations. There's nothing more frustrating than dealing with preventable reproductive issues. Pre-breeding vaccines are really important to protect the cow and the calf, but sometimes they can be really confusing. I want to explain what we vaccinate for and why. This is specific to our herd, so make sure you work with your veterinarian to decide what's best for your herd. Vaccine programs are never one size fits all. We use a vaccine that includes protection from both viral and bacterial respiratory and reproductive pathogens. What does that all even mean? Bovine viral diarrhea virus, or BVD, can cause a lot of different issues, but one thing that we're looking to avoid is BVD PI calves. These calves are a risk to the entire herd because they shed an enormous amount of virus without looking like a sick calf. In addition, to being a risk for the entire herd, they also don't grow well and have a higher morbidity and mortality. For the respiratory viral pathogens, we want protection against common cow respiratory viruses like IBR, BBD type 1 and type 2, PI3, and BRSV. We also want protection against bacterial pathogens that cause fertility issues. Vibrio or vibriosis is caused by Campylobacter fetus, which is a bacteria that can cause fertility issues, and leptospirosis, a bacterial disease that can cause abortion. On our farm, we use Bovillus Vista 5 VL5 Sub-Q CFP in our pre-breeding program to protect against all the pathogens that we just discussed. Per manufacturer recommendations, we give two mLs Sub-Q or under the skin 14 to 16 days prior to breeding and annual vaccination is recommended. Again, vaccine programs are not one size fits all and vaccine decisions should be made in conjunction with your herd veterinarian. Call them today to discuss your pre-breeding vaccine program.